So welcome back to my P5R playthrough. Today, we'll be doing a lot. A lot of palace exploration, gonna do some more fusions. But yeah, I'm really excited that we are now experiencing more of the royal content. Uh, I am behind on videos by the time you see this, or by the time that I'm recording this intro. So I'm sorry, but yeah. <laughs> royal has been really cool. I've been enjoying it so far. I still like Maruki, okay? I still like him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's weird, but I still love Snack Daddy. But yeah, that's really all I had to say. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Without further ado, let's get started. Is everyone rested up? More or less, my mind was racing so much that I passed out before I even realized it. Same here. I think I've sorted through my own thoughts, but I'd still like to hear everyone else's take. Sure thing. We'll come to the hideout right after school then. Gotcha. Cool. I'll be waiting for all of you. Hey. We definitely need to update everyone about Lady Lavenza and cook up our plans for here on out too. Welcome, welcome. We have to choose our own path, eh? Akechi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. I like the coats. Right. Hold on, wait. Sorry. I like... I like the shoe. Are those Shujin coats? Those coats are fire. They have coats for uniform? Like, they have uniform coats? Also, I really like On's jacket. That's really cute. We can't accept this reality, but... That means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? <laughs> That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire. But that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy. Right? Yes, exactly. Maybe it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. Uh -huh. But we all still feel like this reality is wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. Changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, so, somebody say something? Uh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about how <laughs> you are, Ryuchi. Oh my god. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Well... That means our next step is pretty clear. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know that, uh, uh reality bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Good day. This it's is just that guy. Speaking. Huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. Of course. <laughs> Please. How is she even calling you? Don't ask! And how'd she know how high our wills are? <gasps> Did she tap your line or something? Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. <laughs> she hears us. Apparently she can hear you. Ah. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. Therefore, let us 
convene at your school. School? At Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, to be fair, so we took are... Caroline and Justine. She really gonna go to our school? Like everywhere. So through the front gates like nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it. But since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offer to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. If all we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. I'll take him. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Plus, if he does betray us again, we'll just take him out. <laughs> oh my god! Haru, Jesus Christ! Let's all meet at Shujin tonight. She was ready. She was just I'll like, yeah. Figuring out how to get Yusuke I'll just kill him. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. Dude. All right. Let's get home for now. I love her. She scares me. <laughs> See, do you think Lavenza will make it to the school? I hope she doesn't get lost or anything. Yeah, don't you think it's a bad idea, her wandering around in that getup? That's true. Hopefully no one gives her a hard time. If someone does, you better come up with a good excuse for her, Rin. Will he even say? Your options are kind of limited as a transfer student. Just say she's your little sister or something. At any rate, I'm certain she would reach out to us if something were to go awry. That's true. We can put our faith in Lavenza. Agreed. Let us know if anything changes, Rin. Good night, everyone. Why would Lady Lavenza want to meet up at the school? It's not like she just wants to check out the place, right? To be fair, he did. He did. He did. That is true. Haru definitely. Haru definitely deserves it. <laughs> Haru definitely deserves to get like a hit in. Do you want to take a break for today? I want to think on it a bit. Oh my god, a bit more. Deserves the hit. <laughs> hey. Sorry. It's. Let me sleep! <laughs> Come on, what's up? No. I was just remembering what happened that night you remember right the night before we went into mementos to erase it before we dealt with cheeto hey remember how i said i finally found the place where i be even though i said that and really believed it i still fell right into maruki's hands i know i've made it obvious how much i want to be a human more than once i thought it would give me a chance with lady on but what i did was just so lame I can't believe I was off having a blast while you were busy trying to help us. Mm. Well, yeah, that's true. But I mean, that was just the right thing to do. Now that I think about it, you've been helping me from the very beginning. Hell, I was locked up in a prison when we first met. <sighs> I'm nowhere near cool. You're already super cool! Ugh. Quit buttering me up. You don't have to tell me twice, though. I'm going to be super cool from here on out. Listen up. Know what? I'm going to make you a promise right now. From here on, oh wait, from here on, I'm going to be more independent. I just keep relying on you for everything because deep down, I thought you could figure everything out for me. But that's all changing. I'm going to stand proud on my own four feet. And I'm going to be the one to protect you. I promise I will. Stop! That's so cute! He's finally paying rent. <laughs> Wait, I'm tearing up. Stop. Are they fusing together? He's large! I like this. I like how this one looks more, actually. No, my original. Oh, his original power. All right. Cute. Oh my god, I'm tearing up. Jesus. Okay. 
All right, time to serve Mark. He has just desserts. Anyone who tries to pull one over on us like that is asking for it. Right. Sorry again for all the hassle. You and I are going to be even greater partners now. Let's turn in for the night. Well, things are going to get hectic starting tomorrow. Let's call it a night. Oh my god. So cute. I like this a lot more. He got a Rolex on. <laughs> why, why does this person not have a Rolex on? And a big ass chain. Well, it's big ass pendant, I guess. Built like a Dorito. <laughs> Cat drift out? Yeah, no. You're pretty good at studying and we're just in the back like... You've been awfully busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As for myself, be sure to order some jelly yes, and bread and... Hmm? That's... Yeah, let's go! Oh! I see. Chase it down so you don't lose sight of it. Okay. Pew. Pew. Pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Oh. <sighs> Where on earth is it trying to go? All right. Didn't know I was going to play tag. Don't go to the women's restroom. Okay, I was like, that's gonna make it really awkward. For real? Is he just? Oh wait, right, 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 right. When we were in the school, we came from the nurse's office. Lady Lavenza. She's so pretty. Oh, thank you for coming. Thank you. I see. Exchanging common expressions upon meeting like humans do, it has a rather pleasant feeling. But that is irrelevant. Let's turn to the matter at hand. As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first, please gather your other friends here. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Marcy oh. is no simple feat. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition. So I may converse with you all in person here. I... see. Arcana. Let us continue this conversation once she looks so unamused. Me. Until that time, I will provide my oh, she's eyes a much needed rest. Wait, rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? Oh, she's out. She's out. She's so cute. Oh, <sighs> hello. I guess we should get everyone in here. Can we just text them? Nice. Very nice, Futaba. The surprise no one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we are lucky it went as well as it did. As Yay. long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. I must <laughs> say though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw it, but the moment I was just looking at Haru, but the moment that Akechi walked in, Haru's face immediately dropped. It looked so funny. Anyways. <laughs> well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, I'll make sure you regret it. All right, then. That's no concern of mine anyway. Remember what I told you all before? We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. Good morning. It appears that everyone's arrived. Does this mean you're ready to begin? 
She's so cute. Uh, that our line? Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it, as well as the true nature of his power. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. He changed mementos? How is that even possible? How did he get in there? Wait, don't forget about our experience with the Metanav and Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Jesus. <sighs> could he really have done all that? But what did he do? It's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition. Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. In Ew. other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a persona user? That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining when Maruki first awakened his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization, although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. So his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan it was most likely through the use of actualization. Still, though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself, we still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole. <laughs> He's so mean to me. <laughs> right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. And what if he became such a god? What? The god of control. Indeed. The being in mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Took over his position? What do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? No. The Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki? Who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did? Very smart, Akechi. Good questions. Good questions. <laughs> Wait, you what? what? What do you mean? We never wish for anything like this. Is that really true? It's most likely because. What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Interesting. Uh, I don't remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? <sighs> what about our counseling? No way! My therapy sessions! Okay.
Interesting. <laughs> My therapy sessions? Are you dead ass? Don't go to therapy. I'm just kidding. Don't go to therapy, Chad. Go to therapy. But don't go to therapy in persona. What the fuck? Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. Okay, Akechi. He was a really nice guy and would offer me snacks and really cared about me. Okay. But now I'm thinking about it. Why was I okay? Hmm. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your That's heart. That's crazy. Just, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. Oh. Fault, huh? We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists too. I trusted him. You really can't trust shit. 18 plus? Not allowed unless it's Sojiro, I guess. Cuz even Sai, yeah. God damn it. Right. Let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've got to be the ones to fix it. Yes. This realization changes none of what we must do. Very well. Then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. So... What you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with Mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Mm. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with Mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. Jesus. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. This is nuts! <laughs> I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? It's possible. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Allow me to produce the calling card. Yay! It's certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. Right? What's the deal with the palace's name? doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. Oh. Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence. Because he's not a bad guy, but he's a bad guy. 
Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. He's a bad guy, but not a bad guy. Since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. <laughs> you smug ass well, bitch. <laughs> Band thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Hmm. Fine then. You know I have no I hate him. <laughs> accepting Maruki's world anyway. Then that settles that. Wait. What about Yoshizawa-san? We may not have summoned her as one of the phantom thieves. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. What she does with that information though. That's up to her. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Please Thanks, Lavenza. The path that you choose for humanity. Oh. Well, she was already there. <laughs> Well, guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done watching that, you can go ahead and call it a welcome. Um, hi, have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Now, don't worry about finishing up, I'll take care of it later. <gasps> I love Sajiro. <laughs> Sorry for coming over so late, and thank you for the coffee. Mm, it's delicious. Mm. <laughs> Would you mind if I got something off my chest? I'm sorry. The way <laughs> it's it's delicious. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and, um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. You've all found the paths you want to take, and are following them with such confidence, whereas I'm simply... Like Dr. Maruki said before, I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone, where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. No. Yay! I, earlier, I realized something. When I saw you all striving to push onward, I can't keep running like this. But now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do? Join us. <sighs> you can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai, but you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. She's so cute. Let's reform society. So are we going to the palace? We're gonna take back the world. The real world. The real world. Rewriting reality. I wonder oh my god. I would never have thought such a thing possible. Not only that, but this palace is ruled by a Persona user. How does that make any sense? I know God, God modding when I see it. God modding? God moding. At this point, he basically is a god, right? This shit makes Sheeta look small time. We need to come up with a plan. That's a good point. We should meet up tomorrow. 
Sounds good. Speaking of which, how should we contact Akechi-kun? I guess we could let him back in the group chat, right? Yep, that'd be quickest. Alright. Alright, I'll take care of it. Thanks. One month to go, huh? We'd better come up with a plan. That time is gonna go by fast. Don't let that man back! I'm sorry! Make a different group chat! He's not part of the main one. Like a temporary Phantom Thieves one? I mean... Okay, well, I could only sleep. Morgana is eeping. Okay, she's out of jail? Bro, he's out of death! Why the fuck is this bitch alive? I have an idea. But still. It won't share. <laughs> We're heading to the palace today, yeah? A good idea, I'd say. Although, we mustn't rush, of course. Yeah, honestly, if we want to accomplish anything, we gotta get out there. I agree. Is that all right, leader? Hell yeah, let's secure a route to the treasure. In that case, let's meet up. Oh my god! He replied in the group chat? He actually said something? Okay. Alright, the hideout after school then. Should we tell Yoshizawa? Well, we should probably leave her alone. She'll she'll come, right? Right? What's the name of this song, chat? It's so good. Hmm. Oh. Dang it. It seems everyone has arrived. Let us begin. February 3rd is the date we agreed on with Dr. Marky. We've got to go find that treasure already. Once that date passes, it's over. We all get that, right? Hmm. We'll have to discover our rope by February 2nd to be more precise. That's another way to look at it. And nice. You actually remembered? Yeah. Okay, of course I did. Dick? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It wouldn't be a terrible idea to secure a route sooner rather than later. Such attitude, not ours. We must be deliberate, however. We have no idea what's going to happen. Right. Yeah, Dr. Marquis pretty much got the power of a god. I doubt anything's gonna, going to go smoothly. We better not let our guard down. Very well. Let us go. Haru said, smack the fuck out of him, Haru. Backhand him, please. Oh. Oh, it's Hi. Hello, everyone. He's so cute. You're going to fight Dr. Maruki, yes? Please, take me with you. Uh, but you can't go in dressed like that. Please, I'm done running away. Oh, whoa. They keep relying on people like senpai. That's so cute. <laughs> Color me in. Oh. Looks like she'll do just fine here. Thank you. Oh. In that case, she's so cute. Came up with a code name for you. What now? It wouldn't be right if you were the only one going by your real name. <gasps> what is know? her code name? Oh, you're right. Joker, got any suggestions? <laughs> Appetite is crazy. Sure. Oh, that's right. Sumire in English is Violet. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Appetite is crazy. Right. Yes, let's go with that. So cute! Now remember everyone, Violet, not Violent, Violet. Yes, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> I am surrounded by absolute fools. Are we done? We should probably get moving. I know, I know. Jeez. Come on, Violet. I'm gonna punch him in the fucking chest. Yeah. Fucking dick. God. Cute. Catherine? Okay. That's cute. I like her red hair, though. Oh, <gasps> bitch. Merry Christmas! Oh my god, girl! She's so cute! 
Oh, is it really just Katoni? That's so cute. Hold on. Wait, that Christmas outfit is cute. That's my favorite so far. <gasps> cute. This is cute. I like that. I don't know how I feel about the heels, though. Maybe if it was a different shoe. She's huge. She's huge. Nah, I'm making them all go in their Christmas outfits again. I don't care. Come here. Her Christmas outfit is too fucking cute, bro. Are you dead ass? Look at this. She's so cute. All right. Merry Christmas, chat. Even though it's January in game, I don't care. Wait, what's a catchy's? What's a catchy Christmas outfit? I don't think I've seen it before. Wait, where's the little shit at? Am I blind? Oh, this is him! Oh my god, he looks so fucking goofy, I didn't even realize. Oh my god, that shit ass, brother. Jesus Christ. On is still the worst. On, on doesn't even get festive, bro. Fuck! Uh. <laughs> May luck be on your side. God damn it. This is what I did for hours. This is what I did for hours. And people are like, oh. of course she's using the broken persona. Someone got upset with me that I was using broken personas like I didn't work for this shit. But whatever. This shit didn't just fall from the sky. I had to do a bunch of fusions. I never even thought of reloading to get the right trait. We are not playing the same game. <laughs> if anyone got my personas during a network fusion, they'd probably lose their mind. They're just like, what the fuck is this? Fuck. Chat, I need, I need more believers. I don't think you guys are believing enough. I don't think you guys are believing enough. Maybe that's why I'm not getting it. Lend me your strength. <laughs> Please. Give me your... Give me your energy for my spirit bomb. <laughs> Awaken your new... You wish to strengthen. What's good? You try to get almighty boost and almighty amp. And those are the last two I need. 29% chance. <gasps> Did you change? May luck be on your side. The luck's not on my side, Lavenza. I need more. Please. One more for real. Igor, you're you're actually a cutie pie. You're so cool. Please, please give me the skill I need. In Igor's nose, we pray. Amen. <laughs> Do I actually have to pray on it if this works? No way! Guys, the tech! Hold on! That's the tech! <laughs> no shot, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no fucking shot. He liked being called a cutie. Wait, I got you, Igor. Don't worry about it. Did you change your Okay, one more. Almighty Am, please. We have to do another prayer. What do I say? Oh, wait, I know. Okay. Dear Igor, you are. You are a, uh, you are my pookie for real. <laughs> you are my pookie for real. Again, your nose is actually very, very cute. You're a cutie patootie. In Igor's name, we pray, amen. Igor, well, Igor's nose, we pray, amen. That's pookie. Maybe he'll actually give it. The pookiest pookie of them all. The pookiest pookie of them all. Almighty amp, please. I'll boop your nose, Igor. <laughs> Dear Igor, you are my cutie patootie. Amen. <gasps> Bitch! It worked! <laughs> it actually worked! I don't care. It worked! No fucking way! <laughs> no shot. Bro. What can I say? He likes it. Yeah, no. Baby actually likes it when we compliment his nose. 
There's no fucking shot, bro. Anyways, that's so funny. He responds to positivity. That's so cute. There's no way I was struggling for like 15 minutes trying to get everything else. Thank you, Igor. You cutie patiti. I appreciate you. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Be honest with me, chat. And YouTube, once you guys see this. But if you didn't have any idea, like you had no background as to like the Phantom Thieves and like their ability to change reality and stuff like that. All that good stuff. Like literally no background as to what was happening. Would you guys want reality to change? Because I won't lie, if I if I started living a better life out of nowhere, I'd be like, fuck it, man, we ball. <laughs> that sounds crazy. People are like, oh, what about like living a, a true life or whatever? I'm like, brother, you're telling me I could just be happy? No depression? No nothing? For the free? I don't even got to do anything. I just got to wish to be happy. I would love to have no problems. Just living the life that I always wanted. Anyways. Somewhere. Is there anything else? No more ice cream machine, bro. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't change this. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say, yeah, no. See, I would not... I would not care. I would 100% be on board for Mark IRL. That's why he's such a great... That's the thing, right? It makes you think. Like, it, it challenges. It challenges, like, your your values and your morals a bit. Because it's like, hey, bro. Like, this is not, like, the way life should be. But you could have it. Yeah, no, I would like to not be <laughs> depressed. <laughs> Oh, all right, just a little more to go. Violet, are you holding up okay? Yes. Oh. Sorry, it's just I feel just a little off. Uh oh. <laughs> My outfit. <gasps> I let my guard down for a second, but I swear I'm fine. So sorry for making you all worry. Wait, that's so funny. That's fine and all, but don't hold us back either. If you push yourself harder than you're capable of handling, you'll endanger everyone on your side too. Okay, I catch you down. Security levels crazy. <laughs> Enemies approaching. They're fast. I don't know what the heck they are, but we'd better move it. Should we get back to it? If things start looking bad, we'll retreat right away. Until then, we'll back you up with everything we've got. All right. Dude. Every time someone says okay. money doesn't buy happiness, bitch, it'll buy me 80% of the happiness I need. I I'm so serious. I'm so serious. <laughs> what the fuck are these? Uh-oh. Not on my watch. Please stay back. I appreciate it, but allow me. I chose to stand on my own and fight. Oh, uh, girl. Time I stop being helpless. Okay, okay. I what are we doing? I head low and took your hand. But I knew all along, deep down, pretending to be Kasumi was not the right way. <laughs> the weak, insecure Sumire. Oh my god. Violet. You were the one. The only one who stayed true to yourself. Come, Sandrion. If you don't answer my call now. How else can we make our dream come true? Such Yo. Oh my god, another awakening. To hit you better than ever before. The glass slippers are the icon of glory. Stop! Stop! That's so cute! Not just for you, but 
the other girl within you as well. I am thou, thou art I. Are you prepared for your debut? The ball awaits. I like this scene for her more. This awakening scene for her is a lot better. That's so cute. That's it. <gasps> Wait, the Christmas outfit fits with her persona so well. I'm done running from myself. Yeah, you tell him. Go violent. Give him hell. Yes. Let's do this, Sandrion. That's so cool. Bye bye. She's so cute. Please. Sorry for troubling you. I'll be fine now. You were as impressive as always out there. Well done, Violet. God, Akechi's outfit is so I ass. Do, <laughs> I promise I'll do my best not to slow you down. Come on, you don't have to be so formal with us. Only his mask is better. <sighs> Sorry. And the same goes for you too, Joker Senpai. I hope you'll still be there for me. He looks like he does look like licorice. I am thou. Thou art I. This is why it was I rank five. In pursuit of the truth. Oh <gasps> wait, it's a different like saying too. The chain that impedes thee is thy strength of heart made manifest with the rebirth of the faith persona thou hast obtained the winds of blessing that shall guide thee to the furthest that's so depths. cool i didn't even notice the inverted color that's so fire what the heck That's so good. All right, let's kick some ass. Yes, let's press onward. Yes. Well, we may have been run through with the ringer, but we have a mission here. Let's check out that door. Yes, you're right. I'd completely forgotten. You know, now that I think about it, a bunch of people were like complaining that I wasn't gonna romance Kasumi or well, Samiri now, right? Bitch, how would I have known about a romance option if we maxed them out with five? Like I deadass didn't know what her purpose in the story was until like obviously the royal part. She falls into the unfortunate territory that I guess is in where the link just happened so late. Yeah, so like why why were people getting mad at me for liking haru which already people were complaining was late in the story but then expected me to wait until i saw that kasumi or samire unlock the unlock the confidant link or confidant ranks like what whatever man people are so dumb they don't even know what they want anyways It looks like it was built so it couldn't be accessed anywhere else. You need an ID for the door. The lock means there's got to be something important in there, though. Let's go get an ID. But first, we need some sort of clue. Hmm? They're just watching us. Without this ID. Oh, so we need to jump them. Looks like you're snooping. I mean, your tech skills came in handy again. I even spot that shadow. Mm -hmm. I don't think he knows I heard him. Why don't you ambush him for the ID? You can't reach him from here, though. You'll have to go around the back and through the auditorium. Yes. Understood. We need to take the hall up ahead. Let's go. What would you like to do? Should we go for it? Yes. Sorry, chat. I'm eating while I'm playing. Mm 
Aha. Uh -huh. Uh oh. <gasps> oh my god. We're so. <laughs> We're so actually. Oh, hello. Relax, man. Persona. It's not that serious. Shall we? Whoa, that was awesome. I don't like how a catchy dodges. <laughs> he literally like leans back. It sure feels like we're one step closer to the treasure. Might as well try that ID out on the door now. We did it! <laughs> Oracle Senpai? I like the sound of that. Yeah, Futaba. Alright. this but yeah all right okay i like a catchy but i also don't cuz he's so mean <laughs> But I get it. That's who he really is. But still. I'll reveal your true form. Got the advantage. Don't rush this. Check trait. Persona. Persona. Akechi is suffering right now. I'm so sorry, Akechi lovers. He's okay. <laughs> He's so extra, bro. As he should be. He should even be here. He's okay, though. What are you weak to? Persona! God damn, Haru. This treasure demon is not showing itself. Hello. Yoo-hoo. Okay, first. Let's save a catchy real quick. Let's Why is it so hard for it to spawn? I feel like every time I I would hit like random treasure or grab it, a treasure demon would just pop out. Maybe I was just lucky? Indeed. Think you're just unlucky? Today's not a lucky day. Oh my god, right? I didn't fix his SP. It's fine. Oh, <gasps> Fuka. And cool guy. <laughs> I forgot his name. Ku something? Thank you. Do you go to sleep? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that, Sunny. 
Their their theurgy in, in episode I guess is really cool. Thank Violet. I won't use my myriad of troops. I will. Oh, it doesn't work on one of them. Um... You know what? It's fine. Ow. <laughs> Ow. It's okay. Um... What are you weak to, girly? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Dude. Um. I'm strong, D. Um, excuse me, ma'am. That's not very nice. I will be... Let me just... Everyone good? We good? We're good. He's okay! He's fine. Wait, what are you... Okay, well... <laughs> Let's go, Haru. Yay. That's my girlfriend. Oh, that's my fiance. <laughs> I believe that takes care of that. Takes care of that. Jesus. So where are we now? This room seems very different to the rest of the palace. It was more heavily guarded as well. Well, could this be some sort of surveillance room? The monitors are displaying various rooms within the palace. Huh? Wait, we were being watched this whole time. I don't know about that. I knew it. This room's more of a mainframe than a monitoring. Oh my god, monitoring system. All sorts of information's being collected here from across the palace and getting converted into raw data. Oh. Data collection? But what for? Wait. You know, this room ain't got any sort of way forward. Think we gotta find another path somewhere else? Actually, it looks like there's a path beyond those cables. We're sure not using it as is, though. Oh. What is it now? Uh, why does it have mementos? Is that mementos? Yep, yep. I've tracked the location all the data is being sent to. Looks like it's going into mementos. We might be able to make some headway if we investigate this location. That reminds me, Lavenza did tell us Dr. Marquis is utilizing mementos to distort all of reality. Even still, are those really data cables? Agreed. Sticking around here isn't going to help us any. Alright, let's get out of here for now. Let's see if me a memento strip does us any good. Alright, well... I like it too, Sunny. Mm. Hey, hey. I just like to think every oh wait. Her little portrait in their group chat is so cute. 
I'd just like to thank everyone for letting me join the team. I'm glad to be here. I'll do my best to pull my weight. We're happy to have you. Yeah, welcome. But you can loosen up a little, okay? Don't worry about being so formal. I'm sorry, I'll try to address that in the future. Still sounds pretty dang stiff to me. Uh, a thousand pardons! <laughs> And now she sounds like some kind of samurai. Hey, either way, we got another teammate now. That's awesome. Indeed. We're glad to have you here as well, Yoshizawa-san. Well, as long as we're dropping the formalities, you don't have to bother with the honorifics. If it's okay, I'd like everyone to just call me Samiri. If you're sure, in that case, once again, welcome to the team, Samiri. Thank you. Oh, and about tomorrow, are we all going to that mementos place? I think that was the name? That's an option. We still have plenty of time. We don't need to attempt an infiltration if we're not wholly prepared. Yeah, that's our leader's call. We'll be counting on you more than ever, Rin. I'm ready anytime. Hmm. We've got more firepower now, but our target this time is so much more powerful than any we've faced so far. We should probably get ourselves as ready as possible, like Yusuke said. How can you not dance every time you hear this? Okay, Mishima, look at you with your little coat. Well, the fan site request, if I find any that's here, I'll be sure to pass it. Oh my god, the info on to you. <laughs> there aren't as many posts now, but it looks like there are still plenty of people in trouble. We're all counting on you, Phantom Thieves. Dispense justice. Mm. There are still people in trouble out there, huh? That could mean there are still some targets left in mementos. Whether there are or... Oh, oh my god, whether there are or not, we better be prepared for anything. Who knows what might happen. Oh. Morning, Rin. Shima-kun. Hey. Hey, if it's okay with you, then... Can I see you after school? I'll be in the usual spot. Alright, thanks. Uh, I could go on ahead. Oh, sorry, we're all good now. I'm gonna get going. See you later. <laughs> Bro. Uh, am I interrupting something? Does the school's atmosphere seem different to anyone else? Atmosphere being... The general mood, I suppose. Everyone seems so happy. Some of them seem like entirely new people, even. I've been seeing it too. You think it's Dr. Maruki's influence? If their stories and circumstances seem radically different from before, it's a safe bet. Shit, this is all so crazy. Rin, let us know if you want to go to Moment's house. I can be at the hideout anytime. Hideout? What's up? Where are you all gathering? Is that Bess? It's a public cafe. It's cool. No customers around anyway. <laughs> We're always there anyways. Then it's settled. We'll all meet up at LeBlanc. Okay, I'll see you all there. Yeah, of course, man. Why, man? Hey, hey. Thanks. <laughs> Is this her apartment? Sorry. Oh. Sorry, this was kind of sudden. I know it's crap, but make yourself at home. Oh my god! Wait, she has such a cute room. I like her closet, like, setup. That shit, she has a lot of outfits. Oh, I didn't call you here for anything big or official. Sorry. Actually, I wanted to give you a proper apology for everything. You know, because I got caught up in the life that Dr. Maruki made for me. Well, even if it didn't bother you, it's been on my mind. Um, Honestly, I'm still trying to figure out what the right choice is. I mean, I'm not saying Dr. Maruki's reality is better or anything, but I can't stop thinking about Shiho or how great her life could have been if things were like this. Uh -uh. Nope, not at all. I know this isn't actually reality. I would have been happy, sure, but it wouldn't have been real. 
Shiho was still moving forward. Even after everything she'd been through, she didn't lose hope. My strength came from her. That's why when Kamoshida said he'd kill himself, I told him he couldn't run from it all. She didn't run away, so he can't either. And if I took the easy way out now, I'd be letting Shiho down. Yeah. You're so kind, Rin. Kind of familiar, huh? Back when I finally broke down under the Kamoshida stuff, you listened to me like this too. You didn't know me at all, but you still listened to everything. I couldn't figure you out. Like, I kept thinking, what is this guy's deal? Not only that, but you helped me with Shiho and my modeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're too nice. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're too nice for your own good. Anything for you? My bad. That sounded too flirty. <laughs> no, no, I should be apologizing. I'm actually really grateful, but that kind of makes me feel even worse about all this. I'll give it a go. I'm never going to lose my way again. From now on, I'm going to face reality. For me, for Shiho, and for you. Yay! Oh wow! But your mom bum bum wow 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 wow. Okay. Hey yo. That's so funny. Do you think I like the braids? <laughs> the braids are actually cute. All right. Okay. I'm ready to move on. Thank you for everything. I promise I'm gonna do even better from here on out. Yay! Bye. Braids are so clean. I love how it's like uh a heart. Really? Yeah, no, I love the I love the hair and obviously the bunny ear hat. Her design is really cute. I fuck with the jacket. The fit. Yeah. Thanks, Sad. There's been this streak of weird posts on the fan site. My mom is acting weird. I'm so lonely and hungry. Can she not see me? She doesn't answer me. This house is so cluttered. It's such a mess now. I thought you say that, so I grabbed some extra info in advance. It says the smartphone's registered to the... Oh my god. Smartphone's registered owner is Kuniko K Kagami. This... Oh my god. The kid's gotta be making the post using her mom's phone. I already checked the name with the meta nav, and there's a hit. I think it's safe to assume that this mom is neglecting her kid. <laughs> no, I didn't do much, except for, you know, everything. I just think a kid should never have to feel like she doesn't matter to her mom. I want to bring her back to her senses. Let's discuss this more at the hideout, okay? Well, if we've already got a hidden mementos, we can't just ignore it. And from the sound of the post, the victim here is just a little girl. There are still lots of people out there who need our help. Let's see what we could do for them. Hi, Lavenza. So you've come. Good day, thank you for coming. If I may be abrupt, can I ask a favor of you? The truth oh. is, I still have memories from when I was split in two, spending time with you and visiting all- Bro! So I've been wondering, would you show me your current- Oh, I would like to see the room that has shaped you into the person you have become. I do understand my timing is not the most appropriate given the current state of the world, but- Sure. Are you certain? Thank you. Thank you so much. Let us be off immediately. So cute! She's just a babu! This is a storage room, yes? But where is your room? She she did have to say that. Oh, I would never have guessed. Okay. I prefer cramped dingy spaces. How fascinating. Please. Tell me more about yourself. Oh, I'm sensing some unusual energy around this desk. Your infiltration tools are made here? Could I possibly try my hand at it? Thank you. Let us see what I can do. 
She's so cute though. It's okay. Now, what should I make? Oh, I know. To show my gratitude for rescuing me, I shall craft for you a secret weapon. I think you'll be rather pleased with it. Hmm. This is trickier than I expected. Oh, uh-oh. Well, I can fix that. Ouch! Cursed screwdriver, how dare you defy your wielder? <laughs> She's so cute! Drive those screws! Ugh. Oh, screw it. Make it do it seems my no. body has led to my becoming somewhat No fucking way she was about to do that. There goes my room. Or well, the entirety of LeBlanc. That's fine. Well, it pains me to say it. Your secret weapon will have to wait. More importantly, I should be using this time to learn more about you. Is this your bed? It's surprisingly similar to the one in your cell. Can you truly rest here? <gasps> Bro. It comes with a cat. So you can pet it as much as you like whenever you rest. I must say I am a bit jealous. So cute. <laughs> This space seems somewhat cramped for a fully grown human and a feline. May I sit? Optimum firmness. Ideal warmth. I'm not sure why, but I feel so calm here. <sighs> Good night. She's just an EP girl, bro. up to this sledgehammer take that huh it didn't work she's so cute <laughs> must protect oh wait i can't uh, no i'm being sick. girl wake up was i talking yes you were sleep fighting Whatever you heard. Okay. It's just so comfortable. Perhaps I allowed myself to relax a little too much. I sense some residual energy here as well. Is she gonna do pull-ups? You use it for training. May I ask oh, for demonstration? Fuck. That would have been so funny. <gasps> Come on. One, two, one, two. Put your back into it. You think you can save the world like that? One, two. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh my God! Don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm doing this for your sake. Uh oh. Well done. Such commendable willpower. At least she said I did good. I can sense some lingering energy around this television. <gasps> she gonna play or video is games? It actually, coming from the box attached to it. What is this? I've only heard of them in stories, but is this one of your world's vaunted video games? They say that once a player begins, they're unable to tear themselves away. If it truly can entrance humans to such a degree, could you play a bit for me? I see. You're piloting the spaceship, and your objective is to destroy the oncoming enemies. She's so small! Look how they scatter. This is quite impressive. You weave around each boulder with dizzying precision. Whoa, there's so many of them now. Oh, you're surrounded. Look out, on your right. I mean left. No, they're in front now. Use the boost. She's a backseater? Look, it's the boss. Fire the beam cannons. Annihilate it. Yay. <laughs> you did it. The world is saved. <clears throat> A most dexterous display. I can certainly see why humans get so passionate about these games. Perhaps I'll ask my master if we can install one in our room. Igor Gaming? <laughs> I've enjoyed this first-hand glimpse into your daily life. It was quite illuminating. Before I became whole, I visited many places with you and gained a wealth of new experiences. 
Thanks to that, I feel like I've come to understand humans better. And perhaps more importantly, I feel like I understand you better. So, thank you. Though you have cast off your Aww. shackles, I will still await you in that room. This is a token of my gratitude for today. Please, take it. Thank you. It would be a shame if I were to leave so soon. May I stay a little longer? Sure, man. Oh, she's so precious. She's so small. <laughs> Must protect. Today's headlines are Japan first in lists of most prosperous countries. Others are praising it as the perfect model of a developed country. The first economic boom of the 21st century, several businesses are reporting massive increases in earnings. The new cabinet shows strong approval ratings. Has our antique, wait, antiquated? Political system been changed for the better? Everyone's faces look so calm for some reason, but this happiness can't. Well, Laventa, yeah, no, she's so cute. What's up? Gil. Don't say it like that, man. <laughs> so, Rin, you got time later? There's something I wanted to talk to you about, if you're free, I mean. Sweet, thanks. It was definitely worth waiting around. Crap, is everyone else already at school? We gotta book it, Rin. About the actualization, did something happen? One of my fellow artists no longer works in the medium. You mean they gave up painting? To be precise, their entire history and existence as a painter are no more. For real? Actualization sure is some spooky stuff, but doesn't that mean Marky just killed their dream? No, in this reality, they have apparently always been in archery. They're quite skilled as well, from what I've gathered. Seriously, but why archery? I don't know the exact reasoning, but it was most likely Maruki's judgment call. He pried into your associate's cognition and concluded archery to be the best fit for them. So that, oh my god, so that's what Dr. Maruki considers salvation. He probably concluded that the arts were just generating suffering for them. I suppose he thought this would be a superior path? Now that you mentioned it, they did say before that they were stuck in this terrible slump. But doesn't that mean all of the effort up until now is just wasted? Protecting people from their pain must matter more than their lost efforts. From his point of view, of course. What a hellhole, what the fuck? I could have put it better myself. It's so pretentious, it's nauseating. Yeah, I can never live like that either. Also, yeah, just a cat in the desk. And no one like noticed, ever. There's something I need to tell you. Otherwise, I mean, it's just gonna keep weighing me down. Hey, hey. Of course. Sorry. Sorry if I'm taking you away from anything. Let's go, dude. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> of course he has. Of course he has a poster of a girl. <laughs> of course. An aluminum baseball bat. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, man, how do I say this? I'm flat. It ain't like that. No. I mean, I guess it was weird inviting it to my room out of the blue like that, but don't get the wrong idea. Well, there's something I want to talk about since we're bros and all. I figured I'd just invite you over. Oh, my bad, man. Look, I'm sorry. I know I gotta apologize to you. Look, I'm getting to it. Give me a sec. Laugh it up, but I get pretty nervous. To oh my god. Pretty nervous about talking through this shit. It's like, you know how things have been for me? From, oh my god, from the new year to a little while ago? How Dr. Mark gave me a dream life and I just kind of went with it? We basically spent last year together, and you supported me through a bunch of personal shit too. I even told you I'd help you whenever you needed it. And now, well, even I know I really let you down. Mm. 
Nah, that was a little late. You'd already figured everything out. You're from the start, right? I mean, sure, I could fight with the rest of the team like nothing's wrong. I don't know. Feels like that'd be betraying all this stuff we built up together. Either way, I can't just let this go. Gotta settle things somehow. So watch this. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna stop to... <laughs> what the heck? Can't forgive myself unless I do this. I don't know. Can't believe how lame I was. Shitty thing to do. Why are you... <laughs> Huh? The hell's that supposed to mean? Damn it. I can't think and flex at the same time. Should have figured out this would be pointless. I try to think of something good, but even I know I'm dumb. Hey. So I I really wanted to keep going with the track team. Hoped I could keep it going, maybe get a scholarship, and be a star athlete in college. Make life easier for my mom. And yeah, the doc's big dream world would have made that happen, but still. Oh no, when I think about it, I realize maybe it isn't that hard a decision. I went through all that bad shit, got wrapped up in hating Kamashita, turned into some delinquent, almost got the both of us expelled, started hanging out with Ana Mishima more, and even had my big conversation with Nakaoka and Tak- Oh my god, Takeishi, even if they beat the crap out of me. <laughs> But that's all part of my life. I still own that, you know? It was a real shit show sometimes, but I came out of everything stronger. I'm here because I beat my problems. I can't just pretend they never happened. Wouldn't be right. <laughs> Maybe. And that's why I'll stick with the reality I fought for. The one where we went through all of our shit together. That's where I belong. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Sick board, bro. Is that supposed to be a yacht or is that supposed to be a yacht? What the hell, man? Didn't know he still had this much power in me. Not bad. And what is on his arm? I'm so confused. Do you see? Do you see that fucking waist though? Oh my god. Slim thick. All right. Will William. That's so Will I stop. Stop right now. <laughs> Man, I feel way better now that I finally spilled my guts. Maybe tonight I'll finally get some sleep. You're a simple guy, brother. Yeah. You know it. Better than stopping and overthinking everything. Oh, sorry. Guess I just dragged you over here to listen to me whine. Look, I know sometimes I'm a real pain in the ass, but from now on, I'm gonna run with everything I've got. <laughs> so all you gotta do is count on me, Rin. See ya. <sighs> I love him! Was a naval officer before becoming a pirate? Captain Kidd is fire. <laughs> He got beat headphones. <laughs> what is his arm? I don't know what his arm is. And he's on a yacht. With a slim ass waist. Go off, King. Go off, William. A railgun? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's a cannon. Snatched. We got a really scary request. It says kill. Okay. We don't do hits. It sounds like he's in a pretty bad spot. The details are pretty ugly too. The guy's name is now Minamoto. 
He lost both his parents really young, and he's had to take care of his little sister ever since. He's been working really hard at a part-time job to support them both, but right now he hates his sister so much that he can't take it. She's his only family, but he can't control how he feels. At some point, he was so mad he shoved her, but she stumbled in. I guess she got hurt really badly. It was an unfortunate accident, but he says he can't accept that. Yeah, he wants to be stopped before he kills his family, but changing his heart is bound to help somehow, right? You need to kill off those negative feelings inside of him. Kill me, huh? Talk about a morbid request. Let's, go. Let's help him before he does something even more drastic. God damn. <laughs> well i mean i'm enjoying my time like going through it sid so i got i i know what you mean it is pretty sad but like i'm enjoying the story so you're okay subs just something's been on my mind for a while now actually can we talk sometime? Whenever is good for you. Thanks. See you later. Oh, oh Rin. Hey, we got I some time right now. There's something I want to talk to you about. It's really important. Hey, hey. What are you gonna do? Do you want to spend some time with Futaba? Thanks. Then come to my room. Actually, hold on. Can you come a bit later, Rin? I'll leave my door open, so just come in. Mm. Rin? You can come in. Sorry. Why'd you bring back the fucking mask? Sorry for calling you over. Um, um, there's something I've been wanting to talk to you about, so... It's about you and me. I made a promise to help you whenever you were in trouble, for your sake and for mine. But now I... Yeah, I'm gonna help us fight back. I'm part of the fan of these, right? I feel the same way as everyone else. I mean, yeah, I don't want to accept this reality. That's all still true, but... I know this isn't real. I figured that out a while ago. But I thought, if I got to see my mom again, then it was okay. I was so selfish. I was just thinking about what I wanted. You're mad, I know. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Don't lie to me. You're mad at me. You have to be. Why wouldn't you be? I betrayed you. Don't you get that? Sorry, I guess I'm still a little freaked out. This isn't even what I wanted to talk about. There's something else I wanted you to hear anyway. Can I, um, is it cool if I say it? Um. So like, Dr. Marky's reality isn't totally 100% illusion, right? So that means I really did get to see my mom again. She was so nice. Stop! I'm glad you got to see her. Yes. Me too. But I guess I won't get to stay with her. I know, I mean, I know now that this is all in my head. But I wanted to go, oh my god, I wanted to talk with her more. Go on shopping trips and stuff. I don't know, just, I wish I had more time with her. But still, like, we can't just live totally dependent on Dr. Maruki's reality, right, bro? I'm telling you, I do not have the strength that our characters have. If I, if I got to see a parent that I lost and, like, live like normal again, oh my god, bitch. I'd be so sad to see them go for, like, a second, oh. Well, yeah, a second time. I'm in shambles. Even if I won't get to see my mom anymore, if I can manage to keep working hard and moving forward like I was doing in our rela oh my God, reality, then I think she'd be proud of me. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, thanks. So that's what I'm gonna do. If mom could see that I was working hard, being a part of the group, I think she'd be really happy for me. Pro. Yes. I'll be counting on you. This time, I'll do what I can to protect you and everyone else too. So let's go take back our own reality. The reality where we can beat anything the world throws at us as long as we have each other. The reality my mom gave me, bitch. <laughs> nah, bro. Emmett shambles. Her personas are so goofy, bro. <laughs> ah, yes. Triangle. <laughs> All right. Huh. <sighs> Thanks for listening to all that. I feel a lot better now. Master Futaba has reached full recovery. Get ready for perfect navigation no matter what we're up against. How's that? What can I say? I'm my mom's dog. I'll be pestering you a lot more from now on, so sorry in advance and thanks. See you later. <sighs> Futaba always makes me cry, chat. I love her so much. Joke. <laughs> was it a chance that I... <laughs> was it a chance that this is not what I got? <laughs> I got... I got all four. <laughs> it was a coin flip? Am I lucky or am I unlucky? That makes no sense. I was getting my ass beat every other time. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways. Yay! <laughs> hey. That was the super luck, like that we needed every every other time, but it's fine. Well, maybe you know what it is. Maybe Igor is still like sprinkling a little luck for calling him our our Pookie, <laughs> bro. Oh my god! Yeah, and booping his nose. You're right. Oh god, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Uh, Rin, cold as always, isn't it? But that's part of winter's charm, I suppose. The air is so pure and crisp. There's a strange clarity to it all, as if everything suddenly brought into sharper focus, both within and beyond ourselves. Can I go now? <laughs> I wonder, I'm... There's no pressure, but can I see you again later? Just whenever you have time. I'm of course. I like this color on Yusuke. This this color scarf is so good. Dude, I the moment the moment I prayed and I said in Igor's name or in Igor's nose we pray. Amen. And like I was just complimenting him. I got both of the skills I needed in a row. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Also, Igor is Pookie Bear. Wow, 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 wow. Could I have a moment of your time? Here's something I must tell you if I can. Oh my god, if I am to continue onward. Hey, hey. Yusuke, what's the plan? I'm in your debt. My thanks. Please come with me. Also, I got everyone's best weapon now, I'm pretty sure. You have my thanks. I know my call was rather sudden. I could only apologize. Is that supposed to be on? Is that his painting of on in the back? <laughs> We've already decided we're going to oppose Dr. Maruki, so I know it's far too late to say anything, but... I just can't keep averting my eyes from the truth. I betrayed you and all we stand for. How can I pretend I'm so worthy of our lofty ideals or your support? I'm, I'm an utterly hopeless fool. <laughs> Please, I don't deserve consoling. Yes. You gave me my strength. You taught me to face the truth without fear. That strength, that anger is how I rose up against Madarame. 
I saw him for the fraud he was, and I freed myself from his lies. And I and just look at what I've become. Dr. Maruki gave me a false security. He showed me a life spun from my deepest desires. And fool that I am, I welcomed it. What an indescribable humiliation. How could I be such a detestable, narrow-minded sheep of a man? Relax! Enough. I cannot. This is no time for calm. And you, you of all people deserve to shame me, but still you say nothing? I betrayed you. I have spat on the very principles of art. And more than that, I have spat on all you did to help me find my answer. I... I'm nothing. Not even worthy of the empty words I spoke. I can't even bring myself to look you in the eye. Forgive me, Rin. Isn't there beauty in it? Impossible. What human beauty could possibly be buried in this hellscape of humiliation? No, I refuse to accept it. It would be nothing but an excuse for my failure. I was a slave to my hubris all along. How did I ever believe the meaning of the true beauty was within my grasp? I was just a fool lost in dreams. Oh. I see. Perhaps there is truth in that. I can only apologize. You saved me from repeating my mistakes once more. Compared to the grand legacy of my mother's art, I am still but a chick toddling in her shadow as she soars. I dreamed of flying at her side, yet for all my leaps of faith, I only plummeted from my nest again, again, oh my God, again and again. What I needed was a teacher. To grasp the beauty in my mother's work, I needed a guiding can to offer criticism and validation as I earned it. Well, why was I so conceived that my teacher must be someone in the art world? <laughs> After all, I have a friend like you, and our talks together have already led me to so many beautiful revelations. Personal space, Yusuke. My apologies. I got ahead of myself. But my point stands. I believe there is still a great deal I can learn from you. Indeed. And if that's true, then I found my teacher, and with him, the path to truly grasping my mother's art. I will not lose my way again. Let us walk that path together. So cute! Hi, Susano. His persona has to be sick as fuck. Because I like both of Yusuke's designs. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. I got so excited. Also, it is Shujin. Womp. <laughs> I, I was thinking it was Elvis because of the hair. <laughs> this reality of ideals and perfections, it's not wholly wrong. Truly, there are parts of it I can find almost painfully beautiful. However, you have helped me see clearly again. I believe I wish to return to our own reality. Oh, ow. It seems to be far better to paint both with ugliness and beauty upon my palette. <laughs> Indeed. Let us return to our true home, to the reality where I discovered true beauty. Hold a moment. Ah, but first, you know what they say about fighting on an empty stomach? That reminds me, I haven't even offered you any tea yet. And you brought some kind of treat with you too, didn't you? Is it sweeping jelly? Or maybe a big dessert? Like dorayaki? Or perhaps you brought... I'm in your debt. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> He's such a bad... <laughs> He's just hungry and poor. Brother, he's so silly. Good morning. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to speak with you. I just wanted to talk, that's all. If you have the time, is that okay? Thank you very much. And let's keep moving for now. I love how composed Makoto is. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Dude, something is wrong with Ushimaru. 
What do you mean? I don't know, something's up. I guess it's not wrong, but he's all different. Anyone know what he's saying? Ushimaru who? He's awfully strict, isn't he? Even the freshmen have heard stories. What exactly is different? His personality? What, he's super nice now? That's just it. He's so nice. It's creepy. And no matter who I ask, they tell me he's always been like this. We got ba oh my god, we got people saying he's basically the school's own Buddha. It does sound as if he's been enlightened, I suppose. So, Dr. Maraki has changed someone's personality? If he really wanted to change, then yes, it's possible. What? Ushimaru of all people? It's like how I wish to be Kasumi. It's like your own situations, most probably. Something in his past must have been overwritten. It's also possible his personality just changed, independent of any external events. You figure that real Ushimaru went through something bad? Maybe he was so nice to everyone, the students took advantage of him and he went full delinquent? Ugh, that would be traumatic. Well, we can speculate all we like. He's the only one who could say for sure what's changed. It's still difficult to understand. So if- oh my god. So if it would serve her, their happiness, even one's personality can change. I guess, though it's not like Ishimaru was full on evil. I'm getting so mad, I'm gonna go to sleep? If- is that even a thing people do when they're mad? Honestly, you could always just pay attention in class. I go to sleep! But I be feeling like ass. I just call it a night. Or day, even. I'll just go to sleep. <laughs> no way, Marky out here making people find the light of God! <laughs> Dude. Oh, can we talk for a little while? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Oh. Was it Bachimaru? Fushimaru? All the little pandas are so cute. Sorry for calling you over so suddenly. There's something I just had to tell you. Honestly, I wanted to apologize. I couldn't back you up when you needed me the most. But it is true. Ever since the new year, I was stuck in Dr. Maruki's false reality. Hey! Remember that time before I joined the Phantom Thieves when I called you to the student council room? I challenged you on your ideals, starting to expose you all, as if I knew anything about what was going on. But since then, I've learned so much from the Phantom Thieves. From you. You saved me, more times than I can possibly count. After all that, I'd promised myself that if you were ever in trouble, I would leap in to save you. But I forgot that vow. I just threw it away so I could cling to father and sis. It's awful to know that all along I was so weak and self-centered. Even if it isn't, does that really make it okay? Considering all the ways I made your struggle harder, even unknowingly, I can't just let that go. It seems... You know, I think I'm more lonely than I was willing to admit. Father never spent much time at home. When he was there, he always had his mind on some case. And Sis put all her time into work, for both our sakes. I respected them both so much, and I still do, of course, but I can't just let them take care of me forever. It's what I think, at least, though it's a fairly new idea for me. If I hadn't been in this situation, I'm not sure it would even have occurred to me. In any case, I'd made my decision. Hey, so I'm done just sitting quietly and doing as I'm told. If I'm weak or self-centered or lonely or too dependent, oh my god, too dependent on my family, then that's my problem to fix. But my pain still part. Oh my god, still a part of me. All the struggles, your support, is what helped me stand up for myself. I can't lose that. I'm not exactly abandoning the person I was, but I figure trying to bottle it up will only make my life harder. I want to be able to look at the most awful, disgraceful parts of myself and still be able to say, so what? Thank you very much. It's a relief to know you're supporting me. If I can get everyone to understand me and really see who I am, then I think that'll give me strength. If I'm ever tempted like this again, I'll remember to stay true to myself, even if it's not a conscious decision. That's why I wanted to apologize. I guess I'm not completely ready to stand on my own just yet, but I'll keep trying and I won't run away. Yay! It's nice to get Ali. 
Because love her Buchi Marukut is one of the reasons I chose her. She's great. Okay, this is gas. What the fuck? It's just a car, no? <laughs> She went from a motorcycle to a car? Or is this still a bike? It looks like a mini car. All right. <laughs> That's still gas though. It's still a bike? <laughs> That's a thick ass bike. It's strange. All it took to make my heart stronger was to put myself first. Sorry, but it looks like I'll still have to rely on you a while longer. So I hope you'll be prepared. A bike, but stylish. I like it. Yeah, no, it is still a bike. It's just a thick ass bike. For all foes? Oh, bitch. We're in. We're in. This is so cute. I low-key did not like her, her persona for her second awakening. I think it just the red, like the red face kind of stood out too much like that contrast i like this a lot more right um yay guys more fishing <laughs> who the fuck is him the guardian oh my god holy chong Oh my god! Why is it so hard? <gasps> oh. Come here! Oh. Please! Oh my god. Bro! <laughs> Please. Oh my god, please. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I spat some of my bread out. <laughs> Cuz I was so locked in. I got scared. <laughs> what do you want to do? I got it though. That was so hard. That was so scary. Oh my god, at least I got it. <laughs> yes. Yay. Ooh. I can barely feel your passion for the fishing pond. 10,000 points? Wait, so how much is it? Oh, I do have a tag though. Let's see how you did. Nice. Slowly but surely gonna make it to that that little badge of honor. <laughs> okay. Good morning. <gasps> Her little earmuffs. Hey Rincoon, might I borrow you for a bit? I think we need to talk. Can you come to the roof after school? Huh? Why are you apologizing? I'm not angry or anything. Perhaps I phrased it a bit ominous. Oh my god, ominously. Didn't I? No, I just wanted to talk to you. Whenever you're free, I'll be waiting. I know it's a bit sudden. My apologies. Now, shall we go? Oh, looks like the train's coming. Let's line up. <gasps> I love her. Bet. What brings you here today? Girl, you asked me to come see you, baby girl. May I speak with you for a moment, please? Yes! <laughs> There's something I need to tell you. Is that okay? Hey, hey. Thank you. 
I'll treat you to some delicious black tea. Just wait a moment while I get changed. Oh, okay, generic. <gasps> I'm sorry. Haru is so cute. Oh my god. Sorry to call you over out of the blue like this. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Yes, well, I needed to speak with you about this situation, or rather because of it. I feel I owe you an apology, Rincoon. I'm sorry. I was just so useless. I'm so ashamed. Dr. Margi crafted me a... S s a what? A saturine? Perfect new reality. And I accepted it without a second's pause. It was only because of you that I was able to find my own path. You were the one who gave me a future. And what did I do with it? I'm so pathetic. You're so kind, Rincoon, but I'm afraid that doesn't feel like enough this time. I want to stand at your side through this, and I want to do it with pride. I... In truth, I did wish that my father was still alive. I wanted us to rebuild the company together. No more than that, I wanted to save my father. But that's just not possible. No matter how important he was to me, he's gone now, and I cannot bring him back. Surely, if, if I could just rewrite the past for my own benefit, it would be terribly selfish. Just because it made me happy doesn't mean it's right. Because what about next time? When I fail again or something goes wrong, do I simply get to erase that too? Knowing my father is gone, it's sad and it hurts. And that pain is precisely what gave me strength and resolve. All of us went through so much together. I don't want to lose our struggles or the closeness we went through them. So I need you to understand that I'm determined to see this through. I won't run away anymore. I refuse Dr. Maruki's gift to us. I'll choose a reality, the one I define through my own hardship, mistake, and tears. I wonder how hers... I wonder how hers is gonna look. Bum, 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 bum. Definitely keeping a big skirt, right? We gotta keep the big skirt. Yeah, big skirt. What the? Um. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Just. <sighs> I'm sorry I kept you waiting for so long. That's all I wanted you to hear. From now on, I'll fight even harder to make up for all the trouble I've caused you. Yes. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can do anything. I will grow even stronger. I have to keep pressing forward for father's sake too. <laughs> Thank you. All attacks? All of them? All of them? All attacks? <laughs> Hi, cutie! <sighs> Everyone in the world seems so happy, but it isn't right. Um, should we go to the palace today? Uh, not yet. What? Hang out, but we have to do something before it's too late! I see. You're right. Maybe I'm getting a little overwhelmed, and I can't do my best if I'm too stuck in my own head. Thank you for your concern, senpai. Let us use this day to relax. I want to talk to you about something. Do you have time? Can we talk to you? Can we go elsewhere? It's a bit difficult to talk about it here. Um... Rain Senpai? I am so, so sorry. Seeing me trying to act like Kasumi must have been so painful and awkward for everyone. Everyone must have noticed that I was acting strangely. You're probably just being nice to me, knowing I just lost my sister. But even then, I had no idea I was even supposed to be sad. I didn't remember that my sister was gone. When my coach told me to think about who I really am, I thought it was just figurative. Something about my slump. I was just living my life like I didn't even care that she was gone. I can't take this shame. But... 
Well, yes, but even then, how can I forgive myself? Ever since we were kids, Cosme was always the one who decided what I did, what I chose, where I went. I couldn't do anything without her. I was supposed... Oh my god, I suppose it's clear why my grades weren't going up much. I was never on Cosme's level to begin with. I was so pretentious, so wrapped up in my own stupid little problems. I was too self-absorbed to do anything. I'm sorry, I lost my composure. Can I talk to you? I'm starting to remember things from our past now. It's hard, but I'm trying. There's a lot. It covers everything starting from when Cosme and I first got into gymnastics up until just recently. I want to talk about how it used to be for Cosme and me. Uh, would you listen? Um... I keep... I keep saying Cosme and Kasumi. Whatever. Cosme. <laughs> Started gymnastics really early, and I was even younger. So I copied her in almost everything. I went to the class too. I was too little to really understand the sports or the rules, but everyone praised me when I did well. The coach would get me little awards like ice cream cones. We did our best trying to learn the moves and routines since it kept getting us ice cream. Yes. I suppose you're right. We ate ice cream together. We talked, we laughed. Those days were so fun. And one day around when we started to go into junior meets, Kasumi asked me, if we can be number one in the world, does that mean we'd get all the ice cream we could eat? All with a straight face, of course. She could be really funny sometimes. <laughs> so obviously I told her, Kasumi, you're a super genius. She really was a genius, though. Everything came so easily to her, and every day she only got better. Do you remember what my coach said, Senpai? That my, well, that Kasumi's greatest weapon was her boldness? Simi always was always so bold. She was like a beacon of confidence. So... And one day, I realized I'd never catch up. It didn't matter how hard I tried, I'd have consolation prizes for the rest of my life. Simi was always the one on, up on the podium. But even when she won her ice cream, she never ate it without me. I always told her not to worry about me, but she still said she'd wait until we could enjoy it together. She really believed in me. She said we'd be the best in the world someday. She had her own practices to do, but she was always so busy helping me. She spent hours trying to help me. She was so kind and strong. She was the perfect older sister. I... Kasumi's kindness was so, so infuriating. She was always the one on the podium, surrounded by flashing cameras, but all I could do was watch from the shadows. I'm not Kasumi, and no matter what I do, I'll never be like her. If she'd just given up on me, it wouldn't have hurt so much. At least then, people would stop trying to compare us. Yes. If you prefer, yes, I wanted to run away. I was only thinking of myself. The thought kept coming back every day. My mind went back to it. Everyone would be better off if I didn't exist. Either that, or I should just be Kasumi. She was the one people really want. Samire, the one who's useless, pointless. Who would care if she died? Oh my god, girl, no! But my sister died instead. Why did she have to protect an idiot like me? I, I watched her... Yes, I'm done running away. Senpai. I can't stop here. Now, I want to keep doing gymnastics as Samiri. I want to hit those heights Kasu oh my God, Kasumi was aiming for. Otherwise, I'd never be able to face her. Please, listen to me. Will you keep going out with me now that I'm Samiri? I want you to hold me to this, to make sure I don't run away from who I am again. I'll take you up on that then. You must think I'm pretty lame, but I guess that's Mary. That's who I am. I have to be stronger, both in my heart and with my gymnastic skills. Maybe some other time. But for now, I'm Samiri Yoshizawa, and it's nice to meet you again. Oh.
Well, she gets right. two. I feel so much better with all that off my chest, Senpai. I think this really helped me. Now I can focus on turning over a new leaf and doing my best. Shall we go? Let's get some practice in until I have to go to the to club. We'll be training even harder than before, Senpai. I'll be extra strict from now on. Oh yay. Alright. Um, hello. I'd like to thank you for what happened earlier today. And I'm sorry you had to see such a pathetic side of me. As soon as I acknowledged myself as Samiri, my gymnastics training started to fall apart too. But this is the real me, I guess. Yes, I'm done turning my eyes from it. I need to move forward even without Kasumi. It doesn't matter how painful it is, I'll accept everything. I'll think about where Kasumi got her strength from and what I can do as Samiri. I'll calm down and think all of this is oh my god, think all of this through. Thank you for listening to all that. Okay, I'll talk to you again soon. Alright, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I will be ending today's video. A lot of this will be cut out, most likely, especially since I spent so much time in the velvet room. Probably keep some funny parts, like my my ritual for passing down traits. <laughs> with Igor but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and if you could have anyone's persona in any like persona game what would it be without being said I will catch you guys in the next one bye bye